Hello guys, so we're back again. Today we have this new Pulse 80 watts Quang box mod that everybody been waiting for for a while now. So it has this Vandy Vape chip. Um, I'm telling that straight away for you. It's not that other chip, I'm not gonna speak about it, but some of the shops still advertise that it is another chip, but actually it is Vandy Vape chip, so don't get confused. That's Vandy Vape chip in there. And it's called Pulse 80 Watt Squonk Box Mod. That's it. That's it to the name. So yeah, guys, that's Vandy Vape chip, 80 watts. Let's see what it does and what it doesn't. That's also Tony's B project. Shout out to that guy. He's absolutely brilliant. He done that. That's I don't know which project for him it is, but I mean, he already done RDA mechanical box mod. That looks pretty similar to this one, just without screen and a bit smaller. So yeah, guys, let's jump to close view and just take a look. Let's, let's just have a look at it. That's it. So yeah, guys, here we have Pulse 80 Watt Squonk Mod. So as you can see, it's has a screen so that means it's regulated so it has this resin panels over here that removes from both sides as you can see over here it says Tony B project so yeah it has this quang ball over here that's made of silicon easy to remove and easy to fill um, it has this the unscrew finger on the top so it makes the filling easier so let's just fill it up I'm using my favorite juice over here one of the favorite ones to be more exact stuck to vape that green stuff or how is it called that great stuff I call it green stuff because it's um, because it's yellow yeah I like the yellow stuff yeah all right, just kidding. So yeah, this Kong ball is eight mil capacity. So it's plenty of juice for you to go through during the day. So easy to install. That's it. So it supports two seven two zero seven zero zero battery. That goes negative up, positive down. So you can close the panels, where's another one over here. So these panels gonna be changeable. So that means you can buy extra different panels on, on websites somewhere. Uh, they're not gonna be released soon too, but Tony said he, we are working on them. So it's gonna be released. So you will, you will be able to buy a new pair of panels so if you're gonna get bored of them easily to just take them out and just swap another ones so why also was a good feature why you can remove this 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 battery cover let's say one of those panels because I believe well for me I like it because I can remove the battery easier don't need to uh, do something like that so just push it out like that easy way uh, another thing what I would recommend for everyone out of out there for you guys use five leg batteries Don't use four leg five leg batteries has uh, proper ampere rating for battery uh, for like batteries. Sorry uh, Doesn't have that ampere rating that true ampere rating so so yeah guys um, Talking about chip the chip it's bandy vape chip the chip is uh it says even over here bandy chip so we had bandy vape design their own chip um as you can see ooh, the screen is really bright two seconds so yeah they designed their own chip that also fires instantly uh, like other companies chip 
that probably everybody knows, but I don't want to mention it. Um, just because I, I just don't want to, uh, I'm just going to stay away from that and uh, I'm not going to say anything. Uh, but this chip also fires instantly, works same good as other one. And yeah, it has USB port over here for upgrade. So Bandivape is going to be releasing upgrades like one after another, I believe, because we've been keep, keep fixing the bugs that we will find. So right now my version is uh, old one. So what I do, I have to press three times to go through the menu. Three clicks, three clicks, three clicks. So yeah, when you're gonna upgrade it after three clicks, B, that means power, will be blinking and you're gonna go through the menu by wattage up, wattage down buttons. So we're gonna be sending out all the pulses with the latest software. So you're gonna have three clicks and with these two buttons just go through the menu. I don't know about this feature. Um, if you're gonna hold the power up and power down buttons, if, you're gonna, if it's still gonna take you to this menu, where you can see your version. So that's 0.02, so that's old version. Also chip ID that nobody knows what it means. Um, also, you can run it on volt voltage mode, not a wattage, but voltage. 8.5 volts maximum. I don't really think that it's gonna be true 8.5 volts because let's see what it says on the battery. It's gonna say 3.7. Well, actually it holds 4.2 volts, yeah. But they say 3.7, so uh, I don't really think it's gonna be 8.5 volts unless the chip has something to do with it, but I mean, who knows? Well, yeah. Okay, so to go back, just gonna hold this. Pressing over here takes you to the voltage. One, two, three. And again, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You go again on the voltage and press over here. So you're back to power mode. So yeah, talking about screen, you get B indicator. That means power or whatever mode, it, mode you are. It's uh, where you can change your wattage, like obviously. So you got 9.99 ohms because there's nothing on top. So it's just default and you go, you get your voltage. So yeah, 5 tunnel here with the squonk pin obviously, looks quite decent. So yeah, it looks, it, also it looks like uh, it was made, it made out of plastic, but it is nylon with polymer and some of the fiberglass, if I'm saying it right, I, I think, I hope so. Um, it was mixed in just for uh, durability, so it wouldn't break so easily. So yeah, it feels even different from the plastic, to be honest. So yeah, guys. If, so let's screw on the RDA. We got this new hell vape. I even forgot how it's called. Antique? Uh, no? Akito? Akito? Something like that. So we got this 24 mil RDA just sits Quite all right on this has some space, but a bit bigger RDA's would straight overhang but I believe it's enough of the space for pretty much most common RDA's on the market So we got a new wick on there. So we just need to drop some of the uh, juice on there I know it's a squonk and you're supposed to be squonking it, but I like to prime the coils that way. Just, I'm 100% sure. So yeah, and we can now try to squonk it up. Look at that. Look at the juice ball. So it's not too soft, it not too, it's not too hard. It lets let's reduce to all unnecessary juice let's to flow back because it's not too soft so it sucks all the juice back 
but it's not too soft, like I said. For me, this Kong ball is, I think, pretty much perfect. It's, like I said, not too soft, not too hard, easy to squeeze. Access to the ball, I think it's all right. I like to press it with the thumb, but you can easily press it with your middle finger, your finger finger, you know what I mean? So it's quite easy to access because it has that little cut that makes the mod a bit thinner. And from over here, it's also plenty of rooms even for big, big, big fingers. So when you put the new atomizer on it asks you to select new or old coil. Let's press new. 0.15 ohms. Let's see how it fires on 80 watts. It fires pretty instantly. And pretty hard I would say. Yeah. Squonk it up. Juice it up. So yeah, boys and girls, here how it looks like. So like I said, you will be able to get changeable panels for it, changeable balls probably. Well, I haven't mentioned that it also usually comes with uh, 18650 battery adapter, but I don't have one on me because I don't even have a box for it um, and yeah also comes with USB lead all the manuals and stuff like that so yeah guys all in all great device I would say 80 watts I think for most of the use is gonna be enough we got this bright screen we got this resin panels they look good so you like I said you're gonna be able to match them up buy another ones uh, change them so I believe you're not gonna really get bored of it so quickly um, material that it's made of like I said it's nylon with glass fiber yeah glass fiber that's just to keep it durable pretty much it fires instantly and as you can see hits quite hard I would say for 80 watts, yeah, I mean, I don't have any, I don't have any materials to test out if it's true wattage, but I believe so. Works pretty well, really well. Um, battery won't last you for ages on a keep on waiting 80 watts, but I mean, that's my maximum output you can use. So, why not? Squonking it's easy. I mean, personally, I don't really use squonkers, but this one is quite hard, like quite easy to use. Not hard to squonk it at all. I mean, the it's ball like something, something in the middle, not too hard, not too soft. So, I really like it. Um, let's say on the G Box, it had like this ball really hard. And it was quite hard to press and it was like only really slowly coming back to it so yeah uh, not sure about that one it was a bit too hard I would say this one is something in the middle that comes like brings all the juice back to the ball those unnecessary ones so not gonna get that leakage in your her DA buttons are really nice and clicky they look nice too a bit more shiny than the rest of the device. The rest of the device is like matte black, I would say. Buttons a bit more shiny-ish. So yeah, you will be able to get new panels for it. So you can mix and match any color you like. I would rate it definitely 9.5 out of 10. Why? Because I don't really like one necessary thing they had to do that bin logo over here for me it puts the device a bit more to the cheaper place you know what i mean so yeah but it has to be there so 
can't really complain about it. Um, so yeah, guys, really enjoyed the device. Thanks Tony B for releasing it, for making it and bringing it out to us. It's one of the cheapest, I would say, regulated Squonk device that's really worth the money. So yeah, guys, see you next time.